Hey y'all, it's your girl Chan. I've heard you and I agree with you. I know we are tired of her and we are definitely tired of him. But I want to talk about it, so let's get into it. So I'm guessing that it's official, right? Martel is creeping in on the photos. I don't know if it's just by chance, but he's smiling here, so it seems like he's okay with it. They are out at the Atlanta Hawks game, so this is date night. She could not keep her composure. But I'm gonna touch on the original Straight No Chaser tapes, right? She posted like two more tapes, and I know y'all tired of it. I know it. Just ride with your girl for just two minutes. Now, she always gets on these lives talking about she doesn't want to be on Love and Marriage Huntsville, this, then, the third. She doesn't want them contacting her. But on these tapes, and if they, because word on the curb is that her and Nay are in cahoots. I don't know. That's allegedly, I'm just telling you what I heard. But she said on the tapes that she was supposed to actually film with the men she said because it would be doing too much if she started off filming with the women like who was gonna film with her i mean i mean for real leticia and kimmy who was gonna film with arian only the people that she knows when she's out was gonna film with her that means Marsha, Maurice, and Martel. Girl, be for real. So she really was giving Mel her props of being that B, right? Because mm -hmm. Mel is versus her. She was like, Martel is with Sheree. Like, literally saying this. Martel is with Sheree, and Mel feels intimidated because just like when he's with me, she don't worry about me. Like, I'm not intimidating to her. But Sheree is on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, and so that has Mel bothered. Girl, this has not been Mel's husband in a very long time. She is not bothered by him. She is probably repulsed because he has talked to you. So then Nay said that um, she heard from a jeweler, however, that Martel was in the jewelry store buying a ring for 20 grand. She was like, no, no. She said, no, that's a lie. Like, she had got real quiet. Like, she was really thinking about it. Like, could Martel have been in a store? And then she was like, anyway, my ring will be more than 20000 Arian, do you, first of all, do you think you're going to get a ring? Like, the least is a Walmart ring in the jewelry section. That's the most with all of the chip diamonds in it. It won't be 20000 it might be 10% of that or 20% of that, but it won't be 20 grand. Do you honestly think Martel would buy? Do you really think that? You had to be just talking. Then she was like, if Martel would think publicly good about her or speak good about her in public, she would have his back. She also said Martel came to her and asked her to wait for him. You know what? She need to be at the game with him. You, not, you have given up so much of your life for this man. He should be over there at the game. And at this point, they should be married. They should be married. But for you to just wait on a man, a married man, to just put all your eggs in that basket and wait for him, that is insane. Then she said Martel made her famous. Now, I will say this. We do talk about Big Ari, right? But famous would also mean that you would be affluent and that you are not. So maybe a little less than hood famous, I'm guessing. I don't know. I don't know. But then she said, Martel don't really do nothing for me. He don't do nothing but come over there and lay down, you know, the eggplant. And they go out to eat and he may take her shopping. So that's what you was waiting for? Those three things? It don't take much for you, does it? I see that. Then she said that she was considering renaming Knox, right? With the M name. Because uh, Martel asked her to. And she asked Nay, should she do it? And they was like, well, if he's with the kids and all of their names starts with M and his starts with a K, you know, that could be a little different. 
But then she said she got mad at Martell, so she said no. Knox, her sister named him. And she also was talking about how people think he did so much for her because he bought her a car or whatever. She said she wanted a G-Wagon like Mel. What? <laughs> and lastly, she said she needs to be verified. She said that the um, cast of Love and Marriage Huntsville, they all owe her 20 grand a piece because she has made them famous. And she also says she's mad at the OWN Network and when Mel put her foot down, the filming that she did, Mel shut it down. Absolutely. So now you know who that be is. And it's not you. Can y'all believe she actually filmed for the show and did not sign a contract from her from my understanding? Y'all, I promise. I think this is it. It's your girl Millie Chud. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.